Sawat D. Krab. Good morning, all. I'm Ru. And I'm G. And together we're London, London Munch. And this morning, we're going to the Green Elephant Sanctuary. It's only gone past 7 a.m. right now. And we're on our way. We're the first ones in the pickup uh, from our hostel. And yeah, we've got a day of the morning of elephant. With the yeah, thank you with us. Yeah. On arrival, we registered in, was assigned groups, and prepped for the day ahead. We are group one, and we are heading, I think, to see the elephantes. We're not going to be getting in the water yet, so ready to get a turn on. Rue's got his little boot cover. There was a short introductory piece explaining the day's proceedings. In this video, we're going to show you how our day went and in turn hopefully explain why we would most definitely recommend this tour with Green Elephant Sanctuary Park. And then soon enough, the elephants began to join us and then it was time to get introduced. This park, founded by a Swiss gentleman, is created in accordance with European animal protection laws and is a harbour for elephants in Phuket. The first, the first stage of the tour is to feed them and just check them out and understand who they are individually because they all have their own preferences and quirks. So yeah. they've told us specific elephants not to touch, where they like to be touched, why they don't, why we should be touching them. So it is a very yeah, not to play with the baby yeah. elephant Do because not play with the, baby the elephant. mother's protective and the babies are naughty. <laughs> But look, beautiful Jim. animal, beautiful. Okay. He wants more. Your turn. Your turn. <laughs> look, he's taking them. Your turn. And mum is 18. <laughs> We've petted almost all the elephants. Yeah. And they are so cute. We've been introduced to them with their ages. I think the oldest one is 53, but they range from about 18 up to 53 um, and yet yeah, each one has its own carer who stays with it on a full-time basis so they're very well looked after here For this anxious elephant, we was advised for her sake not to get too close to. Only her carer had that privilege. Bye, Mama. Bye, Mama. <laughs> We're trying this first. It was this part of the tour and the transparency and honesty of it which won our hearts, and a big part of the reason why we would strongly recommend the Green Elephant Sanctuary Park for your elephant experience in Phuket. A very charming and informative guide explained the lifestyle and routines of these elephants and also their carers. 
not here. So let me walk through this path. After this, it was time to get muddy with the elephants. This is the bit I have to sit out on, but it looks like a lot of fun just um, getting the mud and exfoliating their skin. It keeps them cool and they enjoy it. So, yeah. Everyone's having fun. As G getting getting stuck in. <laughs> From here, it was time to bathe the elephants. <laughs> yeah. Scrub them up good. This was the final phase of the experience. <laughs> I even gave it a go myself. A lot harder than it looks. Yes, in two seconds, in about two minutes, thank you. Scarpana! Nah, scarpana. I'm going in my eyes. And then lastly, they put on a buffet lunch for us, which went down a tree. That's enough for me, that's that's freeze too much probably. Yeah. Alright guys, and that was the Green Elephant Sanctuary and it was a wicked experience worth every penny of I think it was about 70 pounds, but it's so needed and I'm I'm even more glad that our money went towards such a cause because they need this help and support that they can get because they are putting in quite a shift looking after those beautiful elephants and Definitely. yeah. I highly recommend and we'll leave the link to the sanctuary down in the, in the comments. Box. Yeah. And even though I couldn't get involved completely like you did in, in the mm -hmm. messy bits, just being in the energy and presence of those gentle giants was good enough for me. It was a it was a really nice experience. So. Definitely feel like the elephants are my spiritual animal. So I feel like connected. Cosign, I cosign. I loved it. Yeah. Loved it. If you like this video guys please do give it a like do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching Bye. Bye. chicken rice brilli chicken rice brilli the rest of our day looked like this we at like this speciality chicken rice spot wonderful this is a, this is Chinese chicken rice and to the unknowing eye it looks like the blandest this ever but it's a super concentrated chickeny rice and chicken dish with, with the rice being cooked in the in the stock of the chicken mm. it is simple but it's just that chicken essence flavor it's just very comfy but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna um, add some of these sauces not sure what that is and I'm also not sure what this is. However, let's go. Let me taste it with some of the sauce. Mm. Completely transformed. Those sauces are delicious. I don't even know what they're in. They're not. They're not even spicy. 
but they're so they're so tasty. Cheers, G. Cheers. We then took ourselves to the beach and then we was introduced to a taster of the next day's Songkran festival with all the warm-up activities. So we are literally outside 7-Eleven. We've just copped ourselves a crocodile water pistol. We had a variety of colours to choose from but we decided to go for green, yeah. original and blue for water. Yeah. And so the cro crocodiles <laughs> know about water. Yeah. The bigger guns are a little bit trickier for me to handle but if you see like I can move with this, move with this and then I'm ready like, like I've got mobilities on 100 right now. <laughs> You're gonna have a problem. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm no, ready. You is, uh, walking slowly. <laughs> Join us in the next video when we take you with us on Songkran Day. Thanks for watching.